Oh, here we are. So I'm still here at the mailbox in Birmingham and I thought to carry on looking at why Birmingham is a globally important city rather than just being a national important point in the UK. Um, interestingly, Birmingham has the National Exhibition Centre and this is incredibly important as it attracts three million people a year to visit this, allowing people to come into Birmingham. Not only that though, Birmingham also has an international airport which obviously allows us connectivity throughout the world and there's the building of HS2 as a farm of high-speed rail network to connect mainland Europe with London, Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds and even further north and this connectivity will allow us to have more trade, more visiting people from European cities allowing that growth and connectivity with Birmingham obviously being the most central city here in the UK. So Birmingham incredibly important place and I wanted to talk about why people will choose to move here. This idea of push and pull factors. Push factors are factors that push people away from an, uh, from an area. That could be war, that could be um, natural disasters, that could be uh, the climate of the area, that is pushing you away. Whereas Birmingham has lots of pull factors, has three major universities. You've got Birmingham University, you've got Aston University and you've got Birmingham City University. Straight away that will attract people to come to this city, it attracts people. You've got major, major shopping. You've got the ball ring like we saw in my first video, a massive shopping complex that was built to try and combat decentralization in Birmingham. Lots of, lots of businesses were moving outside of Birmingham due to it becoming incredibly derelict, run down, and they built the ball ring as a way to attract people back into the city centre, allowing people to come and visit amazing places like this, the mailbox, which is obviously a, um, a revamped area. We've got these warehouses here. We can see here, looks like um, Holiday Wharf, uh, uh, which would once have been a warehouse during the Industrial Revolution. But people are attracted. You've got um, like through that you've got amazing shopping people want to come and visit that you have a massive financial services hub Birmingham the second city of the UK after London it is a hub people come here for financial gains to work in the big businesses like we can see behind us we have the BBC being uh, having a branch here people want to come and work in places like Birmingham but where do these people go? Do the people that come here have the skills to come and work in places such as this? And this is something that we're going to look at when we go and visit some of our next sites as we go along. So places like Sparkbrook, um, places like Aston, which um, will they allow people, will people go there to live and still be able to work in these different areas? So we can see Birmingham growing as an international city is the hub central hub of the united kingdom great connectivity with different parts of the uk the m6 recently built allowing even faster connectivity up north the canal routes which would once have been a great way to get around the uh, the black country and the growth of railway systems once again we can see here the growth of an amazing city and some great geography in action